Today, we're going to talk about the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And you know I like to talk about Arduino and people getting started in Arduino. So this little kit right here is a great way to get started. The Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino. This is a paid promotion. So C Studio sent me this kit to take a look at and review. By using the code Tom's Trains, you can get 10% off the beginner's kit or $5 off on orders of $50 or more on Seed Studio website. Links are in the description. You'll notice when you first open the box, you'll find all the components are contained on one circuit board to make your projects a little bit easier. No need for cables or anything else. Let's open up the box to see what we have. Tucked away on either side are the Grove cables and the micro USB cable. Taking a look at the circuit board, you can see that it is well made and the modules are easily cut out for later use in any other projects. The Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino is one of the best Arduino beginner kits available. It includes one Arduino compatible board and 10 additional Arduino sensors, all on one printed circuit board. The Siduino Lotus is an Arduino compatible board with Grove ports. Now we'll take a look at each individual module. Starting at the top left, we have the LED and buzzer module. Below that is the Grove OLED display, which is 128 by 64 dot resolution. At the bottom left is the Grove button and the Grove rotary potentiometer. Here we have the light and sound module, which detects the surrounding light intensity and the sound intensity. The temperature and humidity sensor detects the surrounding temperature and humidity values. And at the bottom right are the air pressure sensor and the three axis accelerator, which detects objects acceleration. The Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino user manual by far is the best user manual that I have seen for a beginner's kit. It is very extensive in explaining everything about all the components and the sketches that are used in the manual. You could gain access to the user manual by clicking on the QR code on the back of the box or going to the Seed Studio website. Now let's take a look at a few of the pages inside the manual. This first page identifies all the components of the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino. All the components are connected internally through this printed circuit board. You have four digital pins, three analog pins, and three I2C pins. Page five breaks down the components into sensors, input modules, output modules, and the display module, and you also get six Grove cables. This page identifies the learning objectives for the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino, which are basics of open source hardware systems, basic Arduino programming, communication principles and methods for sensors, and hands-on implementation of open source hardware projects. What's unique to this beginner's kit is the plug and play unboxing demo. This is the only beginner's kit that I have come across that has a functioning sketch built into it that demonstrates all the components in the kit. This is a great way to familiarize yourself with the components on the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino. The next few pages walk you through the installation of the Arduino IDE and the installation of the USB driver if it's not on your operating system. 
Once you have Arduino set up on your computer, it's just a matter of identifying the board and the COM port, and you're on your way to creating your first sketch, which is shown right here. Now comes the fun part of the plug and play unboxing demo. All you have to do is take the USB cable, plug it into the Seduino, and the other end into either a computer or a 5 volt power supply. And you walk through the steps of the built in demo. So let's hook it up and see what happens. As soon as you supply power through the USB connector, the OLED display comes alive with the first demonstration. By long pressing the push button, you can go to the next demo. Here is the three axis acceleration demonstration. Pressing the push button again brings you back out to the main menu and from there you could use the potentiometer to scroll to the next demonstration and long press the push button again. Here you see the air pressure reading from the air pressure sensor. Moving on to the next demonstration we'll see the temperature and humidity. This is measured by the center right sensor. The next demonstration is for sound. Although I don't have the sound on for this video here, you can see as I tap on there, the settings change in the display. The next demo is for the light. It detects the surrounding light intensity and displays it on the OLED display. As I put my hand over the sensor, you can see this circle gets dark and the numbers decrease. Holding down the push button for a long press takes you out of that demo and you could use the potentiometer and scroll through the different demos on there till you find the one that you desire. That's all there is for the built-in demos. It gives you a really good view of how most of the components work on your beginner's kit. As you can see in the table of contents, there are 10 lessons and two projects. I'm not going to go through the lessons or the projects with you here. I'll leave that up to the user so they could have fun learning Arduino. At the end of the manual, once you go through the lessons and the projects, there are resources there for you to build your own modules and design them on Seed Studio. I highly recommend this kit if you're just beginning in Arduino. And even if you're experienced, this is a good way to see some other components that you don't normally see in other kits. And don't forget, use the coupon code Tom's Trains to get 10% off on this kit or $5 off on any orders over $50 on Seed Studio website. That's Tom's Trains. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration. And most of all, don't forget to have fun playing with Arduino.